Hi everyone, um, I wanted to come on here quickly before this video starts just to um, talk about what's been going on in the world. Um, these past couple of weeks have been really, they've been really hard. Um, for me, like I've just been, it's been hard to open up any social media site and you know all you see and it's just all the negative things that have been happening and I feel like it's just been one horrible news after the other after the other after the other and I think that it's important that people speak out and condemn all the injustice that's been happening because if you don't condemn it and, and if you don't speak out you are part of the problem because if you could if you don't tell people what they are doing wrong they would never know and they would never change so um with that being said you know, I pray for justice for George Floyd. Um, I pray for justice for the girls in Nigeria, um, Tina, Uwa, and Jennifer, as well as I pray for the people in Kaduna who lost their lives to just senseless, senseless crimes, senseless, senseless people. And I pray that, you know, their families find peace and they can be able to move on from this horrific and tragic situation. So there's information in my description bar, in the description bar below, um, you know, where you can sign petitions if you want to, or where you just, if you want to read about more, if you want to have more information about what's been going on both in the States and in Nigeria, um, I'll have all that information there. And, you know, I pray for everybody that's watching this and I hope you guys um, you know, find peace this this coming week and hopefully it will be a better week for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy the video that's coming up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chichi and thank you guys so much for clicking this video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this full lock bob. Um, yeah, um, I got this hair from Amazon from a company called x -Trend Hair. I got it in the color T27. Um, I've never tried this color before, but I was really, really, I was pleasantly surprised with how it came out. I was very pleasantly surprised with how it came out. Um, I was a little bit scared because I was like, oh, this hair, I don't know how it's gonna look, but it turned out pretty, pretty well. And I really, I really like it. Um, all the information to this hair will be in the description box below it did cost me $51 um, for a pack and a, for a pack of hair and six so there are six packs in one little in like a baggie and all that six packs cost me $51 I bought two packs of that so 12 packs and it cost me around like a hundred and something dollars so which was not terrible it was pretty affordable actually um, the shipping was quick it was easy I have Amazon Prime so everything came in two days so yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions on this hair, please just leave it in the comment section below and I will reply you. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, let's jump straight into this video. This is how the hair was packaged. It came with a crochet hook as well as six mini bags of hair in it. The length of this hair is 18 inches and it is the Passion Twist hair. I got this hair from a company called x -Trend Hair on Amazon for $52. So I'm gonna start sectioning off my hair. try to do at least 50 um, individual braids in my hair so I start off with taking a little bit of the crochet hair and I cut it into four sections and I um, use that hair to braid my natural hair because my hair is a little bit short and I wanted a little bit of length within the hair So I'm going to add a little bit of gel to my hair and start braiding. I'm making 
keeping the braids loose at the root of the hair just because um, I know that I'm going to put more hair through it and I am very tender headed and I do not like my braids to be tight when I'm doing this method. Okay, so I'm all done with the braiding. This took me a while because like, I was really lazy but um yeah so as you can see the braids are quite loose and I like them because it's gonna like reduce tension for me a whole lot. Start the wrapping process I take two pieces of hair together and I'm not gonna cut this piece um, I'm gonna take it through the hair that I braided and I'm gonna measure half of it to the length of the braid I'm gonna start wrapping it a little bit at the root and then go till I reach the end of the braid. So I continue wrapping till I kind of measure where I want the hair to be. Um, and then I actually tie, at, once I get to the end, I kind of tie both the hairs together and I wrap back going upwards and this is gonna give me that nice distressed feel and look as well as the chunkiness of the hair. So with the first um, crochet um, braiding hair that I use, I do not wrap it too tightly unless I get to the end where the hair is kind of like about to finish and then I just tie it I put a knot through it and I you know wrap it tightly and then I kind of rub it together to make sure everything looks good and decent I take another piece of the crochet hair just one piece this time and I crochet it through the hair and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the individual sections and wrap it through the hair and you'll see what I mean so just take one piece and wrap it down up and down and take the other piece on the other side and wrap it up and down and like I said as I wrap I try to be a little bit more tight with this um, crochet because um, I do want to see that distressed look so that's kind of what I'm doing like I said guys to end the braid I just tie it into a knot and wrap it tight around the ends and roll so I can seal the hair and make sure that this baby is not going anywhere. So I'm just going to show you one more time just so that um, it's a little bit more up close and then you can kind of see what I am doing. This hair was actually really really good guys honestly like the hair did not tangle it was not like shedding and so like I said I'll just kind of measure the first like one part of the braid to my hair and then use the other part to wrap up and down I wanted the hair to be a bob inspired style so I was very conscious of my measurements and you know the length of the hair I did eyeball it so I can't really say exactly you know how you can do it but you just have to make sure that you know there's symmetry to the hair Guys, if you are like me and you start getting lazy once your hair has gotten to a certain point you want to be as quick as possible so you can finish that is exactly what I did so with the second part of wrapping instead of um, taking the hair and wrapping it individually with the two strands I just joined both strands together I measured them up and I started wrapping it will still give you the desired um, look that you, you're after so it was easier and I didn't have to waste my time like wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. So 
once I got to the top of my hair, um, my wrapping method changed a little bit just because I wanted a more is I wanted an asymmetrical look as I was going for. So instead of me um, measuring the wrapping hair to the braid that I have, I just measured it a little bit longer than the braid, just above, like right below my chin actually, not above my chin, but right below my chin. And that would just make the front hair a little bit longer. I hope I'm making sense and I'm not just rambling on, but if you have any questions or further questions, like don't forget to like, you know, put it in the comment section below and I will answer you and help you guys out as much as I possibly can. to look as natural as possible so with the wrapping method I tried not to make them as even so there were some braids that um, I wrapped twice there were some braids that I only wrapped once and that just made it look to me a little bit more natural um, if you see people that have locks their hair is not as even fine babe <laughs> oh I'm so happy guys the hair is done I am excited the hair looks so good I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say and you know if you have any questions like I said don't forget to just put it in the comment section below um, and don't forget to like share and subscribe guys and I'll see you in my other videos bye